A very warm welcome to the uh, uh, viewers today. Uh, we have uh, we have had a wonderful wonderful uh, session on doing the business as in way yesterday, and uh, Dr. Lim was very kind to share a lot of insights of uh, business and uh, of his uh, Zen practice. And we have we have had wonderful questions coming from the audience yesterday. So uh, this is the second uh, uh, interaction with uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Lim mm -hmm. on this very important theme for all of us is how we do business the Zen way. And as I have, I have, I have, I have briefly introduced Dr. Dr. has been a very successful uh, businessman. His business is crawling over, uh, you know, all the continents, and uh, he has been using uh, his Zen practice to uh, to develop his business and to really uh, uh, bring. A radical change in the lives of a lot of people. So, uh, and also joining with me, uh, we, who is going, uh, my my brother Rajesh, who is going to co-lead this uh, session with me. So, very warm welcome to Doctor and uh, Doctor Rajesh. Very very warm welcome to today. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good, morning good morning. So, uh, yeah, good morning and very very warm welcome to you too. Mangesh, you should be uh, about... very, very, very interesting to us. Even in the evening, we always say good morning, you know, in the DXN. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? <laughs> that, that? That's because uh, we, we always believe in the positive energy. We always say that there is always a chance. Yesterday, like doctor said, that even if the world is full of suffering, that is the possibility of a hope of making that suffering into a fortune. And I believe that's what uh, we keep on reminding ourselves and, you know, uh, that's what it And But let's ask Dato, Dr. himself, you know, Dr. Why did you come up with this good morning uh, thing, please? Yeah, you, you see, uh, uh, you see, every day we go for a concept of one world, one market. I mean, the action will expand, you know, throughout the whole world. So when people call us, we don't know what time is that, you know. Okay, so we greet you, good morning. Okay, and the thing is that, so when we do the business, we should always keep our mental state you know, fresh. Morning is the is a, is a most fresh uh, time uh, in the day. So we always say good morning. So we can always keep our mental state you know, in a very fresh uh, 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 state. So even in the middle of the night, or what is thing, we say good morning in the extent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So uh, let, me, let me go to the discussion that we had yesterday and it was about the cause and effect. And uh, it is traditionally called the Paticca Samutpad, one of the core teachings of the Buddha, the Paticca Samutpad, the law of conditionality, the law of causation. So Dato, uh, can you please clarify the law of causation, the law of uh, 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 cause and effect and the conditionality once again for the people, you know, as to how they can create the conditions which are, which are conducive to the development of their businesses and the development of their lives, how can they 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 create the favorable conditions so that you know yeah. they, they 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 succeed in whatever endeavor they are into? The the, the law of uh, uh, cause and effect uh, is a very important uh, teaching from Buddha. But yesterday, you know, I saw in one comment they say that the law of cause and effect is not the teaching of Buddha and is a Mahayanist belief, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so when you say a law and cause and effect, you must uh, uh, remember, you know, mm. it's A, B, C process, uh, process. This is the cause, okay? Then you must have condition, you know. You must condition, then you get the effect. Okay, now, you, let's say mango, okay? Mm. This is the mango, the cause, mm. no? You must have the soil, you must have the water, the sunlight, the mm. air, the fertilizer, this is the condition. Okay, and after that, the tree is growing. Okay, you get the mango. So, in fact, it's a three process now. They mean the cause, plus the condition, plus the effect. Okay, the problem comes when some guru, some baba, you know, they take away the condition. Okay, they say the cause, they only talk about the cause and anything, you know. Like yesterday, uh, 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 this analogist, you remember? Someone said, yeah. I think the perfect cause, but why I do not get a perfect yeah, result? Perfect. Yeah. First thing. Some, some people take away condition, okay? Then they only, only uh, absolute cause and absolute uh, this, uh, this uh, result. This is definitely not the teaching of Buddha. For example, oh, you see, when you're born poor, you're born poor, you're born in certain condition, there is a karma, then forever you'll be in that stage now. There's no condition now. There's only cause, then directly go to the effect now. That is not the teaching of 
Buddha. Yeah. So, yeah. so you must put in the cause, condition, and effect. Mm. Then the student guru come now. They take away the cause, they take away the effect. They only talk about the condition. Right. <laughs> so even the common say that the the the, the, uh, the, the determinism, determinism. They say all oh, it's everything just because all the aggregate come together. No, it happened. Okay, so all your this thing, uh, your bone, uh, your flesh, your water, your, your this thing come together. Then your heart is pumping. You know. Okay. Then they take away the cause. They take away the effect. They only talk about the condition. No. Then this will end up in nihilism. No. This will end up in nihilism. They mean, they mean when the aggregate is uh, is no longer there, nothing is there. No. Right. If nothing is there, then who, who who is going to the next life? Who transfer the karma to the to the next life? No. Okay. It's something more than that. It's more than that. Okay. So that the law of cause is something we have to be very careful. No. There is a cause. There is a condition. Then there is the 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 the, the effects. So these three must consider together, then is is the teaching of Buddha. You take out any of them, that is not the teaching of Buddha. To say that you are born in this stage, you must be over in this stage, no, that is not the teaching of Buddha. And to to to, 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 to say that there's no cause and there's no effect, you know, uh, relax, enjoy, you know, the, 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 we, we, we are just a casual happening in the world. Oh, this is the that is also not the, uh, this is also not the teaching of Buddha. So now in business, uh, it's very important. We wanted to be successful in business. We wanted to be a millionaire. So millionaire is the effect. You do not keep on talking about millionaire every day, you know, okay? You should put in one million effort, you know, into the cost and into the condition. So if, if the cost and condition is, is sufficient, then you will become successful businessman. That is very important. Uh, Mangex? Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, Dato, that, uh, that, that reminds me of the Buddha's very first sermon that he has uh, taught that don't follow these two ends, absolutism and nihilism. Follow the middle path. <laughs> and as one of, one, of the, one of the gurus that you have introduced, Nagarjuna, has developed this philosophy of Madhyamika, which, which you have been teaching for a, for a long time now. So, you know, the Madhyamika and the Shunya philosophy, you know, it goes hand in hand in terms of not, 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 not becoming too absolutely, not following <laughs> absolutism and not following nihilism. Follow the middle path. I think that's very beautifully, beautifully explained, Dato. Dato, this is a very interesting question today that when we look at the world around and particularly the world of business where, you know, they say dog, it's dog, you know, uh, a competition up there. And a lot of people, they say that, you know, you cannot have an ethical business. You have to do some 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 tweaking here, some tweaking there. You have to have uh, you know some kind of uh, uh, thank you, thank intentions, uh, Rajesh. Yeah, yeah, hanky panky things. You know, uh, ethics and business. I don't think they go along together, and probably they cannot go along together. So, Mangesh. So my question to you, Dato, that you have you have started this uh, billion dollar company, which is which is sprawling over uh, you know all uh, continents of, of of the earth. You know, please, can you tell us like, how the the, the ethics. And business go together, and how that links up with the Zen practice of Shila Samadhi and Pradhan. How does it go? Well, how how we explain that to the people that the business and the ethics are not cannot be separated; they go hand in hand. How do you explain that, Dato? Yes. Just now we talk about our cost and effect, cost yes. pollution effect. Okay, this now. If you call yourself Sunyati or you call yourself Buddhist or whatever it is, this other thing, they are, they are five five practice no. Pancasila. Okay, mm -hmm. you must follow. First, you should not do any harm. Okay, you should not do any harm. Okay. Secondly, you should not take what is not belong to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Third thing is that you should not disrupt the harmonies, no? Okay, mm -hmm. of family and the society. The fourth mm -hmm. thing is that you are not making false claim. You are not making false. The fifth thing is that you should not intoxicate the crowd. Okay, this uh, this thing. Intoxicate, yeah, uh, including of the tangible and non tangible. You are taking alcohol. You are taking the acids. You are taking the ganja. That is intoxication by, by substance. Sometimes people worship, you know, mm -hmm. the principle, the method. That also is a kind of intoxication. So when we do business now, we do have certain guidance, you know, what is right and what is wrong. Okay, when you do cheating, you know, when you do something wrong, you know, okay, how can you get good effect at the end of the day? Not possible, you know. So those people who cheat, those people who, who, yeah. who, 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 at the end of the day, the business of people, you know, we have seen a lot. It's seen a lot. It's a thing. So that it's not true. They're doing business. You must go and con people. You must go and cheat people. No such. Okay. 
Business is a kind of service. Okay, I give you the kind of service. I give you this kind of good products. Okay, so in return, you pay me some money. Okay, this, this, this is a kind of good exchange. The exchange of service, the exchange of good, that's all. Okay, of course, you, you, you give people, you can give people poor quality products uh, and say, oh, this is really good products, no? You can cheat people. But how long can you cheat, no? How long can you cheat? This uh, this uh, thing. So then, try to do a business by cheating, but this kind of immoral practice, uh, it doesn't last long. It's non-sustainable. So if you want to have a sustainable business, okay, so follow the five rules, okay? Follow the, the, five, the, the Pancasila. So when you follow this, uh, this uh, five rules, no? Okay, you will be safe. You, you will be safe, okay? So then uh, it's not true that a business we have to do this kind of uh, uh, cheating to get a business, no. Uh, you see, the extent, what's the meaning of the extent? The extent means morality and trustworthy. We are talking about morality, you know, that people can trust us. There's nothing, no cheating, no, no cheating. <laughs> Magesh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, but uh, doctor, uh, Magesh, let me ask doctor, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. talk about these five moral principles and applying them in business, I think it's very, very tough, you know, if you say, um, do not lie, okay, uh, you know, do not do harm, uh, do not intoxicate, but these things to practice, they really become hard because in business, there will always be these elements where, uh, you know, something will come. Like, for example, doctor, I want to ask you this very directly right now, marketing with advertising is thought to be the best way that businesses, they do their business, you know, they have to market with advertising, all the fall, you know, exaggerate, make over claims about things, you know, that how this you apply, like you have a cream in India, which we call when you apply that you become fair and lovely. Okay. <laughs> but if you apply that uh, fair and lovely cream in an African country, it doesn't work. So uh, I don't know how they uh, manage to get a big business in this country. So yeah. my thing is that DXN, without using the same approach of marketing with advertising, not uh, bombarding on the newspapers and television. What was your idea when you decided to even launch a product like Ganoderma and spirulina and all these nutritional supplements? How did you manage it? Yeah, you, 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 you see, uh, Rajesh, in the extent we forbid the member to do this overclaim. Okay, by taking this thing, you can cure cancer and cure diabetes with band and you are not this other thing now. Okay, so that sometimes some products now uh, they have this uh, whitening effect. Okay, you, you cannot overclaim, you know. Then, then, then whitening, what do you mean whitening? I mean, are you going to turn the Indian into a European? <laughs> it's not possible. Okay, but uh, uh, in, uh, in business, we are allowed to dramatize. You can, you can dramatize a, a certain drama, okay, to, to make your products look interesting. That's okay, you know, okay. So, so that we say that uh, there, there is some white uh, uh, propaganda and black propaganda, you know, okay. You say something untruthful, harmful, that, that is cheating, that is a black propaganda, okay. You, you make it look interesting, dramatize, that, that is okay. That, that, that is where you see with our coffee talk, with all these things, you know, we dramatize the, uh, this thing, then, then, then we do no harm, you know, uh, to people who listen to us, okay? So that is okay, you know, that is okay. So then it's not true that in business, we have to do all some of this kind of advertisement. And the extent also, we do not do any advertisement, you know. We do not do any, any advertisement to, 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 to get good sales. Uh, because we are doing this online, shopless, everything. So we throw this kind of uh, people to people. So actually, we do not need, we never spend money, you know, on advertisement. Is we the money, the is they put on the advertisement, no, we give the money to the member as a bonus. That's why many members they 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 get good bonus and everything uh, uh from the from this thing. That's why advertisement is not necessary. And of course, uh, we don't go for the kind of overclaim wrong advertisement, black advertisement, you know, okay? No, you know, uh, some dramatize it, some dramatize, make it so interesting, doing no harm to people, uh, to the listener. Of course, that is, uh, once in a while we do that, you know, but that is harmless, okay? That is allowed uh, in advertisement, but otherwise, no, don't do anything immoral. It I is think, not, not doctor, sustainable. Doctor, I think drama is the nature of India. Indians love to dramatize things. Everything is in a story way. Everything is exaggerated, you know. I, I think India is the first country in the world that produced good drama, you know? Yeah. Okay. So when you when you read the, the ancient uh, uh, Indian literature, you have to be careful, you know? you have to be careful. Okay. When the animal can talk, 
okay, when the skin of the people become different color, a blue color or, or a purple color, okay, this is a thing. So when when, when there is a war, you know, and it's like with a few million people, they must not say drama, you know? okay. So the, the author of uh, Indian drama, they are very good, you know, okay. They, they make sure that you know that this is a drama, it's not a full incident. But the problem is that uh, as a thing going on, you know, many people are forgotten the art of drama in India, okay. One example is 1,800 and 18,000. 1,800, it doesn't mean 1,800, no, in Indian drama. It means a lot, you know. Okay, Hello. it is 18,000. Oh, it is more than now, no. Okay, but now they the yoga school, they say, uh, there's 1,800 school, no. So they thought it was physically 1,800. Now, they don't even know their own culture. They don't even know that this drama, no. Then how, how are you going to teach yoga? How are you going to teach people uh, based on that? That's why I'm, but uh, for the Chinese, uh, uh, there they is, they is a clear indication you know, that how the, the ancient Indian, how they put the drama. So when you read the drama, okay, the animal can talk. Then you know that this is not a real story. This is a drama. Okay, just like this. Uh, 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 you, you look at the Esso story. Okay, the sour grape. Okay, uh, the, the fox uh, is jumping you know, to eat the grape. Of course, the fox don't eat grapes now. <laughs> <laughs> And also, talk, you know, you cannot talk now. So you cannot say, hey, what type of grit is that? What species of grit is that? What is that? How high you can jump? Don't ask this question, you know. So this is a drama. A, then you don't ask, hey, is it true that fox can eat the grit? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Indian are very good in drama. It's very good because in the ancient time, you see that the gatha. Or uh, Indian, they are, they, are, they are good in uh, what they call to, to to put the drama in a, in a very poetry way. So they gatha. So I remember when I studied IIT Bengal, wow, they, when they chanted the gatha, everything is so beautiful, you know, when the drama come out, you know, and that is the art of the Indian art, this thing. So I think we like very much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I, 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 I'm very fascinated with uh, what uh, Dato has just talked about the dramas and, you know, he has he has he has uh, used this uh, beautiful method of psychodramas where you know to communicate uh, the very deeper truths of the life, uh, including the deeper truths of Zen tradition. And uh, I, I can I can say that uh, Doctor is also a master storyteller, and uh, and 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 he he has he has he has shared lots of stories with uh, with his uh, members, and uh, some of the stories are so remarkably told that they they have become like an important marketing tools. For, 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 for the company itself. So, you know, coming back to the drama, you know, you, you often talk about the dialogues that the Buddha yeah. never, 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 never gave one-sided uh, sermons. There was always a listener. And yeah, yeah. Buddha made it clear in the dialogue form, question and answer form to, to uh, clarify a lot of, uh, lot, of, lot of things. And that is, I think, one of the methods that you have been using in the DXN to really clarify about the company's vision, company's mission, the strategies, and so on and so forth. I think that's a very unique way of, you know, when as you talked about the Western mind, very rational, talking about, you know, cut yeah. and dry things. But, you know, you, when, when we interact with you, it's very lively in terms of the stories, in terms of the parables. But coming back to one of the things that you have been often talking about in terms of the business and Diamond Sutra. Yeah, Diamond Sutra, yeah. Diamond Sutra, and 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 I think uh, you should. Uh, I would I would request you to throw some light on the first chapter of Diamond Sutra. You know, a lot, lot of people think that you know the Diamond Sutra is is not the first chapter. Rest of the chapters, you know, like uh, not letting our mind attached to anything, letting it be completely free. But you you have been always talking about the very first chapter all the time. So can you tell us about the first chapter and how that relates to the business, Dato? Yeah, yeah. I think this is a good question. No, you, you see, in Sutra, many people, they always ignore the first chapter. The first chapter is very simple, no? okay? Then uh, uh, Buddha is in Jetawan, okay? Together with 1,250 monks, okay? Then during the come to the, the meal time, uh, he put on the ropes, no? He go into the, the this, uh, what they call, go into the town to beg for the food, and then coming back, okay? Then, then eating the food, uh, wash the feet, yeah? and then prepare the seat and sit down, sit down, okay? What does that mean, you know? Why is it so important? You see, today you look at the guru. Look at the guru today. <laughs> you compare them with the Buddha. Today the guru is sitting on a high seat, you know, 
sitting on the high seat. This uh, is a thing. Oh, where? When it when come to the meal time, uh, the disciples have to prepare the meal, you know? Every day is a different meal. Okay, so they live like a king, you know? But Buddha, he is the Buddha, you know? Okay, he is the highest of all the guru. Okay, when come to the meal time, he, he, he wear in the rope huh? and, and, and uh, take in the, the, the bowl and go and back for the food. What does that mean? Okay, why Diamond Sutra record this? Because this compare a two very important message. No? One message that you must do your duty. You know? So even at the level of Buddha, you know, okay, he had to do his duty. Okay, what's the duty? So, so when come to lunch time, we go and back for the food. Because this one of the duty. Okay, now secondly, uh, Mangas, when backing the food, you know, it's, it's not simply that go to the house, uh, uh, ask for some food and go back. You no, know? it's not like that, you know, <laughs> it's not like that, no. But interact with the society, you know, okay. And many of them, they are the good, uh, good doctors, no. They are the good doctors, and many of them. Are, so when they go to back for the food, they say, is there any problem in the family? So is there any family problem? Is there any any problem having some health problem? They do keep consultation. They do give a mini mini uh, 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 dharma talk, you know, to talk yeah. to them. It's not simple. Hey, Mange, give me some food. No, thank you very much. I go back. It's not like that, you know. So you must interact with the society. So there are two things, the two messages. There. First, you must do your duty. Okay, you must do your duty. Okay. Secondly, is that you must interact with the society. Okay, that's why because Diamond Sutra are talking about emptiness, no. Okay, so when the many people when they talk about emptiness, no, it's very easy for them to go to the nihilism, no. The mm -hmm. nihilism. The world has nothing to do with me. Okay. Throw away here and there. Okay. Then 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 they, they become donkey. No? <laughs> this, 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 this thing. So so it's very important. Okay. Now you, you see uh, another important uh, uh, sutra that associated with this is that is a Vimalakati sutra. Okay. Uh, Vimalakati, I said one day he 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 saw this uh, Sariputra uh, meditating inside the, the, the forest. No? He asked mm -hmm. Sariputra, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sariputra, I, I'm meditating now. Why are you meditating me, me in the middle of the forest? He said, I'm peaceful, no? I can get peace from. Vimalakati told him, no. okay, now I put a donkey here, no. uh, 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 nothing to disturb the donkey. The donkey is a few peaceful, no. so what is the difference between you and the donkey? Okay, mm. so society, you know, don't go and sit in the forest there. Okay, that is a very important message, no, among us. Okay, whatever we do, <laughs> whatever we do, don't forget the society, you know, don't forget your duty. Okay, so you can empty area, you can empty anything, no, <laughs> you can throw away everything, no, okay, yeah. but at the end of the day, you still have to go back to the society, serving them, okay? And and you should do your duty. Okay, mm -hmm. this is for the first chapter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I saw, you know, this one of the interesting stories that you have you have, you have shared with us, uh, most, I know a lot, lot of people is how this uh, story of Diamond Sutra has uh, an implication on one of your members from Philippines who was so frustrated, couldn't do any business. And then he came to you and you know what you told him, you know, go, like you know, Buddha washes his hands every day, washes his body every day, puts on his own robes, and you know, go for begging. And you, you, you know, it's a kind of the same mundane thing, doing again and again, doing again and again without, without you know. So I think you know th this story will be so brilliant. You know, the, the member from Philippines coming to you and telling you that he's so frustrated, can't do anything. You know, uh, the business is not moving forward. What should you, what should I do, Doctor Lim? Can you can you yeah. share that? Because I think this is a very beautiful business story, Doctor. Can you please hear that? Yeah, actually, there's a story of this, uh, of this JQ, uh, Jimmy Kidding. Okay, Jimmy Kidding, he, 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 the wife is, a, is a Indonesian, you know. Okay, so the time I'm doing the business in Indonesia, okay, so he joined it. When he go back to Philippines, uh, when he go back to Philippines, so he said that in the first meeting, he invited 250 people, you know. Only three people come for the meeting. So he three himself, the wife, the driver. <laughs> Nobody come along. Okay. Yeah. Come to Philip. Uh, come to Indonesia. Meet me again. I say go back. Do it again. Uh, then go back. Come back again. Fear. I say go back and do it again. So about four times, you know, he come to see me. So after six months, uh, nothing happened to him, you know. Okay. So he told me. He told me that uh, Doctor Lima, uh, I think that uh, you must give me a, one good advice, you no? Know? Okay. You follow your advice strictly now. It's the thing. Please give me one advice. <laughs> so yeah. I give you one million dollar advice. No? Are they worth one million? No? Okay. And this advice become very famous among the DXN. So I told him at the beginning, okay, you go back to your home on the hot tower, no? 
take a good uh, comfortable bath, okay? Go to sleep, you know. Tomorrow, you go back to Philippines, do it all over again. Do it again. This is the thing. So, so, so then afterwards, he go back to Philippines and, 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 and I follow him, you know, okay? Uh, then, then the business started sort of, sort of, sort of coming in. As we always say, I among mean, us, the life is not, the, the world is not perfect, you know. Okay, sometimes we have to try a few times, many times so, before we can really be successful. This, uh, this thing. And you look at Buddha every day, you know, <laughs> for 49 days, days uh, he, 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 packing the food, okay, prepare the seat, sit down, let the disciple, and there are QA, 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 all the surprise QA. It's like a QA, you know. He never shy from his duty, you know. Never, it's a, it's a, it's not like this guru or sitting on a high seat, okay? <laughs> Dress up like a peacock, okay? Keep on talking, you know, <laughs> keep on talking, keep on talking. Then the people have to respect him, have to serve him, and then they travel by Rolls Royce, they travel by good car, okay? They don't know how to do anything. Just keep talking, 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 you know, the people mm -hmm. serving. Buddha is not like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why the first chapter of Diamond Sutra is very, very important. Okay? Right, right. <laughs> Right, 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 right. I, I, uh, Mangesh, if you allow me. Yeah, please, 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 please. Uh, yesterday, uh, Dr. Lim gave an example uh, with Dev Datta, and uh, he said that how Dev Datta came up with his, uh, you know, extremist views of, uh, you know, uh, going vegetarian, then uh, wearing all those uh, cloth, uh, you know, that is, you know, in tatters, you know, rags together, and going really, really like that. Now, at that moment, um, Definitely, Buddha had the clarity of thought, and that is why he could decide so easily. And he said, "No, if you want to do it, you can do it, you know. But you cannot force it as a rule to everyone." Now, doctor, that brings us to this thing that decision making is one of the most challenging part of any business venture. Okay, yeah. is there this Buddha way or a Zen way to take decisions? Because I know you do that, so. Can you help uh, people, you know, to understand how do we take decisions in such situation when somebody wants to be a little more um, God-fearing than you, a little more smarter than you, a little more, you know, the, the goody-goody kind, and then we feel belittled or something like that. I, I think yesterday we did talk about this thing, you know, yesterday we did talk about this thing. Uh, you, you see, the decision making is always on cause and effect, you know. Uh, 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 okay, what do you want? First thing, what do you want? Okay, I want to sell my product you know, to the market. Okay, this is the effect. You know. So what do you do? So you must do some preparation you now. How to present your products you now? How, how to give a good story to them? Uh, uh, this thing. You need you need to you need to prepare. You need to prepare the the, the what they call the, the the documentation, the presentation, you know, so that we can present to the people. So that the decision making is based on cost and effect, cost, condition, and effect. This uh, this uh, this sort of thing. So uh, then also uh, uh, we we reverse the process, no? Okay. So so make it simple. Simplicity rule over. Because it's simple, it's easy for you to understand. When it's easy for you to understand, then then the chances for you to, to commit mistake is less, no? Okay. So make it simple, easy to do. Okay. It may not be perfect. Never mind. Do it first. Okay. So when you're doing it, uh, there is a lot of uh, reaction. The, the result may not be what you expected. Never mind. Modify again, do it again. Modify again, do it again. Okay, this is how we make decisions now. So, so uh, a good business now uh, is accumulation of small, small, small uh, 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 decisions now. Sometimes the decision may not be, be, be correct now. Maybe it's a bad decision, but remember, uh, no decision is better than no decision. No, no decision, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. But you do bad decision, you get bad result. Never mind. Okay, we modify again. Modify again. We do it again. Okay, we do it again. Okay, so this is how we do the decision uh, in our business making. Yeah. Okay, Mangesh. Yeah. Uh, Dato, this, this particular uh, sentence of yours set me thinking in the direction of. Uh, very important sentence that you have been always uh, talking about is no mud, no lotus. And when, <laughs> people, when people think about the business, they think about very sophisticated suits, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the devices, business plans, and so on and so forth. As if, you know, the, the, the world of the business is completely different from the world outside there. So, you know, you have, you have been talking about this uh, analogy of, uh, of a lotus can always blossom 
in the mud so in you in in, in 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 how do you connect this this parable this this particular proverb no mud lot no lotus with the success in the business you 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 see among us during the buddha's time now many people have come okay this world is not perfect this world is dirty our body is dirty and everything is thing now so mm -hmm. buddha is simple now you go to the pond okay what do you see first you see a lot of mud you know mm -hmm. okay Okay. And then you plant a lotus. Even today, the lotus come out. No, no mud, no lotus. Remember that. So if you want to get a clean lotus, beautiful lotus, first, first criteria is that you must have mud. Okay, no mud, you get no lotus. Remember that the lotus cannot come from the air. No, cannot floating in the air. No, the lotus must be rooted in the mud. Yeah. Mud. So our body is mud. No. That's why we don't allow in our sunya practice. We don't allow people to go and uh, 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 worship the body. Okay, let's say you, you see that Nagarjuna, Akumara Jiwa, even Buddha, no, they don't allow people to draw the image, no. Even the Sentuang, this thing, no, because, because the body is mud, no. But from the body, okay, we come up with a good action, and this will get fruited in uh, something good. That is the lotus. Okay, that is the. That's why lotus become a very important symbol even in India today. Okay, this is called. Lotus mean that it is the good result, no? Okay, thing from the uh, uh, unfavorable condition. Okay, the from the mud and the lotus can come out. No lotus, no mud, no lotus. Because uh, many people telling Buddha, no, they say this world is no good. I I do not like this world, no. Okay, I, I they say many people at the time actually some people also commit suicide, no, because they thought that. Only society they can go to the pure end, go this, go this, go this, this thing. And Buddha especially banned it, you know. Okay. Then you cannot say that this world is no good. This world is full of mud, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is the negative side. But the mud can uh, can block out the beautiful lotus, though. Know? This mm -hmm. is a beautiful, you know. So when you go to the pond, uh, it's your choice, you know, to look at the mud or to look at the lotus. It's your mm -hmm. choice. So of course, if you like to look at the lotus, it's beautiful, but we still have to remind us. No mud, no lotus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rajesh, Yeah, so I, I have a very, very different type of a question. Huh? The question is very uh, personal with Doctor. Doctor, now see, you are at the head of uh, managing the whole operations of DX and you started it all. You made it into such a big empire. And you have definitely uh, employed a lot of people. You have partnered with a lot of people with business. Now, there would be some people who would like to sing your praise and, you know, chant your name and do everything for you. They would do that expecting that you would favor them. That is one way. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what they say. The corporate culture is how do you butter up and go up the ladder? Okay. So mm -hmm. my thing, my question here is, if this is what corporate culture is, have you ever seen such a thing like that? Because... There is, if this is so, then there would be also a spiritual culture where you also butter up God and you also sing his praise and chant his name and he will also take favor to me. So mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm asking in a very general practical sense, does that thing work? Does that, does that thing of everyday buttering up the doctor's name, everyday chanting his name, everything, something like that will work for somebody? It never worked enough. Please remind me of some guru. <laughs> Okay, they dress up, you know, with a special turban, with a special beard, you know, with a special uh, this uh, dress. <laughs> Even they, they laugh, so they laugh differently from you. Okay, so they think everything different from you. Okay, they're talking about chakra, 114 chakra, two chakra in the air. You cannot see, only he can see because he is a guru, you know. So you have to worship him. Uh, you have to worship him. You have to take him at this uh, this uh, this thing, you now. This is, this kind of school, we call it the monkey school, you know. Okay, they know nothing about yoga, and yet they talk about yoga, you know. They know nothing about meditation, yet they talk about meditation, you know? Okay, they know nothing about Buddha, and they keep on talking about Buddha, and that, that, the, the method of Buddha is very complicated, okay, it's, it's too maternal. You take many, many lives, you know, to practice the practice of Buddha, and you follow the law, you know, oh, you see, you see, you know, you do, you, 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 you do not need to, to know anything, you don't even know whether you go to plant and go to the back, you know, just let go, let go, let go, you know? This kind of worshipping, uh, to worship the people, that this thing is banned by Buddha. Buddha had made it very clear, you know, okay, you as a leader, you don't sit on a high chair. You don't sit on a high chair there, look at people, like, hey, I'm your guru, you know, worship me, you know. No such thing, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh, that's why in this thing, we don't allow people to, to, to go and worship the leader, worship us, you know. You can respect, you know, 
Respect will say two different things. Okay, you can respect your teacher and this thing. So people respect me, uh, I appreciate them. But we doesn't want them to, to worship us now. This uh, thing. Worshiping is very, very risky. Okay. So when uh, when uh, when uh, when a guru okay created uh, uh, put a lot of name, put a lot of form uh, into what they are doing, you know, okay, then uh, they, they 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 try to show that I'm holier than you, this thing, then you you have to worship me, okay. Then indefinitely, you know, they will destroy the Dhamma. Okay, they are, they are going to, 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 they put everything, they put the advice into the rules. Then they, from the air, you know, they simply put something from the air, you know, they put in the, put a lot of like yoga, you know, a lot of nim, you know, tons of nim to put into your, your put into the yoga. This, uh, this, uh, this, uh, they, they even uh, uh, pattern, pattern the nim, you know, pattern the practice, and this other thing. So all these are wrong practice, you no. Know. All these are wrong practice. So that as a corporate, you know, we should not, uh, 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 we should not see, we can see a person, people can respect us, but they should not worship us. Uh, Rajesh, I hope I answer your question. <laughs> yes, yes. That means buttering will not help somebody to go up the hierarchy chart in DXN. You need to work. That's it. That's your own effort will help you to grow in DXN. That's very clear. I think so. That should be the way everything, the definition of corporate culture should change. Uh, and it should be like this, something like this. Yeah. This is a healthy corporate culture. Okay. Yes. You go up the ladder. Through focusing on, on the condition, okay, good service to the society, good service to the people, okay, then people respond well to you. That's a good way. Not by dress up like medicine, you know, dress up like a peacock, they talk something very funny, you know, no, yeah. nobody will know. They themselves doesn't know what they're talking, you know, sometimes, so huh? it's things some weird, something weird, you know, <laughs> then, then this is not the right way, you know, and this way is non sustainable. Mm -hmm. Once you die, everything collapses. Our system different, you know, our sustainable, you know, okay, so we train a lot, of, like, you know, a lot of diamond, a lot of these things, so, you know, sunya, so, yeah, a lot of sunya, duta, you know, these are these things, you know, okay, so one day, each one or so will live, uh, 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 the same. Now, uh, 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 Rajatam, if you want to know whether the guru is a good guru or not, you know, okay, yeah. you ask, him, do he, does he duplicate anybody like him or not? Uh, okay, you not duplicate anything like him. It must be a Pondi scheme, no? It must be a, 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 a some cult, no? Okay, want people to worship him, it's for you to bring in the money, for you this is a thing. So this car guru, you have to be very careful. They are the one who destroy the culture. They are the one who destroy everything. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think clear. Mangesh, for you, next I, 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 I was uh, uh, set in the direction of a thinking, um, uh, you know, yesterday when... Uh, Doctor talked about uh, the Zen as a human way, not yeah, yeah. as as not as a God way, you know, God way or as an animal way, but a human way. And he often talked about the animals like donkey, monkey, peacock, and how we 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 we, we sometimes manifest in our human life the different animals. And uh, you know, when we when we when we think about the, the we ourselves as a human being and the Zen as a human way. We cannot but think about uh, the, 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 the Eightfold Path where right livelihood is one of the very important parts of the Eightfold Path. And uh, livelihood is often, you know, when a lot of people talk about Buddhist practices, uh, the Eightfold Path, they completely do not talk about the right livelihood. But your, your scheme of presenting the Zen, you talk about livelihood and the businesses and, and prosperity and peace. And, and there are there are schools of thoughts in Buddhism which denies the, the prosperity and ennobles the poverty. So, for example, you know, the tradition that we come from, like, you know, Dr. Baba Sambedkar, he told uh, the, his followers, the Buddhism never ennobles the poverty. No. The Buddhism I... never ennobles the poverty, doesn't glorify the poverty. So, as a, as a successful businessman, as a Zen practitioner, as, as somebody who is a founder of a Shunya movement, how do you place this right livelihood as a yeah. practice? As a spiritual practice, as a Buddhist, as a, as a Zen practice, Dato, for the yeah. peace, for the prosperity, for the harmony in the society. Uh, Mangesh, I have read many lectures by the Dr. Americano. I think he's a very great person, uh, a great philosopher. Okay, and he would say that no, you you do your duty, you know, to carry out your duty. Everybody is equal in the constitution. Okay, so we want to we want to have a beautiful, peaceful, and beautiful India. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. So that uh, uh, when we come for this uh, practice, nah, when we come for the, this uh, 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 practice, we, we, should, uh, we should always uh, uh, remind ourselves, 
Okay, don't fall into two extremes. Okay, one we call the donkey practice, one we call the monkey practice. So go school, okay? They say, okay, you you should go to the retreat. So we go to the forest, we go to this thing. Then when practice, you know, okay, so you are not supposed to talk, you are not supposed to have eye contact, you are not supposed to, to ask questions. You, are, you, you this kind of practice, I don't think is a is a is a good approach, you no? Know? Okay. Then after some time, their face become poker face, you no? Know? They do everything so slow motion. Okay. There's no Q and A. You are not allowed to ask a lot question. This kind of thing. So so then 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 they say that uh, uh throw away everything. Okay. Uh, 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 you have nothing to do with the with the with the society. Okay. Then they they go to the forest. They go to the mountain. They go to Himalaya. You know? That's kind of school we call them the donkey school. Nah, okay, school. Then another school, you know, then they have music because they they, they, they say, hey, hey, relax, monkey, what's the problem? You know? Relax, come to here, here, sell your house, sell this thing, yeah. come here, relax, relax. They relax, huh? they want the effect, you know, with cost. They just simply throw everything away and then they say, oh, relax. They, they, this one we call it absolute, uh, uh, you know? they just enjoy themselves, you know. They just enjoy themselves, let go, then they're singing, they dance, you know? they open it, even the guru, you know, open it, dance, dance, dance. Huh? It's a thing, everybody is dancing, this thing, then then looking to the sky, then roll out the eye, you know, rolling out the eye, this uh, this uh, <laughs> this thing. So the kind of school we call them the monkey school. The monkey school. Okay. So in Zen, uh, among us, uh, we always we always have a joke, you know. Okay. Zen is talking about human being, you know. Okay. So after practice Zen, uh, it's better you still remain a human being, you know. You don't become a donkey, you don't become a monkey. Some mm -hmm. people are the, some of them become donkey, some of them become monkey, you know. This uh, this uh, thing. You have to very uh, so that so that uh, I think you to keep on reading the first chapter of the Diamond Sutra, you know. Read and memorize it, uh, so that you still remain a human being. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. like like Mangesh, there is a great uh, Zen uh, Zen story about one uh, monk who goes and he first looks at the mountain. I think Dr. Oli told me this. He looks at the mountain and then he thinks it is a uh, mountain, but then he understands Zen and he, uh, you know, first he starts to realize and he feels it's something else. And then again, at the end, when he understands Zen, he sees it's just the mountain. Something like that. It wasn't that, Doctor? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you see, uh, uh, Rajesh, you see, when we practice Zen, you know, okay, first we, we talk about detach detachment, you know, we detach, man. So when you detach, nah, okay, you see the world very differently. You know? uh, nothing to do with me, nothing to do with me, or the society, nothing. To... At first, we, we, we try to enjoy our life. Now, then after we practice Zen, you know, we start to detach. So, so uh, first, you want to enjoy your life. Okay, uh, life is life. No, so after you practice Zen, you know, life is no longer life. No, you throw uh... away, throw away everything. This uh, it's not the ultimate aim. No, even today you realize, uh, you have to realize. No, you have kind of awareness. No, so you go back to the society. You do your duty, you know. Uh, uh, so, so that there are three stages. First, you look at the mountain. It is a mountain, okay. So you detach, no. You detach away the mountain. Mountain no longer look like mountain, okay, okay. So the second step, you're very careful, you know. You must go to the third step, you know, okay. And then, oh, this is the mountain again. Uh, this uh, thing. So the society, you know, for the society, uh, very uh, noisy, very ugly, a lot of suffering, you know. This thing. So we detach. They say, oh, nothing to do with me. Detach this uh, thing. Then you feel serene, you no. Know? After that, now you must go back to the society. The society remain a society. Now, if you do not go back to the society, then you become donkey. Then you stay at the second stage. You now everything throw away, everything throw away, throw away. The world has nothing to do with you. you now that is very risky. You now that is nihilism. That is banned by Buddha. Actually, it's totally, it's a totally banned by Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, Mangesh, please next question. Then I ask one. Uh, uh, there has been uh, some questions uh, yesterday and. Uh, People have some uh, 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 wrong interpretation of the Sati Pathan, the the Kayan <laughs> wrong interpretation of Sati Pathan, and 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 they, they assume that they are like the four stages in the meditation. But oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but in in the Zen school, Dato, how do we look at uh, the Sati Pathan, like Kaya Nupassana, Vedana Nupassana, Chitta Nupassana, and Dhamma Nupassana? How do you how do you relate that with the practical day to day realities of our life? The Sati Pathan and the day to day realities of life, Dato. You, you, you see, uh, Satipatthana is very, very important sutra. You know? okay, everyone of to drink this sutra are very, very uh, careful. So in Satipatthana, it talk about four practices. Okay, the four four types of vipassana. Okay, the first vipassana, vipassana is look at this body. Okay, uh, you own the body, but this body is not, it's not you. This 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 body is a mud. No, okay, this body is not too clean. 
Okay, so 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 you look at the body, it's a man, it's not clean, everything. This is the first practice. Okay. Secondly, look at your feeling. Okay, your feeling. Sometimes you feel happy, sometimes you feel you feel warm, sometimes you feel cold and all. The feeling is also not new. Okay, so you analyze. It is a, it's okay. So so the first one we call it uh, kaya lupasana. I think in the comment you now they put in the kaya. Kaya means the body, the feeling, the, the body, you know, on the thing. The second is veda lupasana on the feeling, on the feeling you now, your feeling. Like the third thing is the chitta lupasana on the chitta. Chitta means your mind. Okay, your mind is uh, this thing. Then the last is the dhamma. Uh, dhamma means the phenomena. Okay, the world. Then you should look at the world. So the four practice like this you now. First, you, you look at your body. Do not attach to your body. Secondly, is that you look at the feeling. Do not attach to your feeling. Thirdly, is that you look at the mind. Do not attach to the mind. Lastly, you must go back to the society. You know, Go back to the society. Do your duty, everything. Okay, interact with the, with, with the dhamma. Interact with this thing. So these are the four practice. Okay, but I think in a comment, someone mistaken it with the four dana. No? It's four dana. It's nothing to do with practice. This practice, after you practice this thing, then then your 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 zana, your zen will, will go by four steps. Okay. Uh, the first step that you, you feel peace, uh, you feel peace. Okay. You the state that you can you can you can know it by observing your breathing. Okay, your breathing becomes smooth, uh, your breathing becomes smooth. Okay, you go to the practice. Okay, then you come to the second stage, you know. Okay, your 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 you become very serene, very peaceful. Then your your feeling becomes softer, uh, become a uh, uh, softer. Then kind of third stage now. Okay, uh, then then because uh, uh, when you do the Zen, your body become uh, metabolism become uh, slower slower. Then your organs, no, your all these things that start to take rest. Then it started to all the energy release out. No? So some people they can have the kind of ecstasy, you know. Okay, uh, 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 like like a uh, uh, stone stage. But it's not a stone, it's kind of extremely happy and everything. You know? That is a third jana. So the time the breathing becomes very subtle. So when it comes to the fourth stage, you know, okay, the breathing stops. You, you breathe through the, the skin. You breathe through the skin and this sort of thing. So these are the fourth jana. And you cannot cheat, you know. You cannot cheat. From your, from, your, from your breathing, you know which stage of jana are you in. And the fourth stage jana, your breathing stops. Or, or you, cannot, you cannot observe your breathing anymore. You cannot cheat on this one. You cannot uh, do any cheating on that. Okay. So I think, uh, uh, among us, uh, I think in India in the future, so I think we should do a proper teaching you know, of mm -hmm. this. Uh, other people are quite confused, uh, confused about everything. Then they say that oh, cause and effect is not the teaching of Buddha. And then, then four practice become the four stages of jhana. Uh, and many other things. You know, they're talking about body, brain, and mind. Okay. <laughs> we talk about body and mind. And then put in the brain. Brain is body. Okay, it's the body. And brain is not mine, you know. Brain is not mine. Okay. When people practice, no, in the in the night they practice, then suddenly they, 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 they see the blue sky, they see the white cloud. No? Okay, how can you do with the brain? No, mind is more than the brain. Okay, the mind is a, is a, it can uh, they are projection of mind. No? Like I told you, uh, 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 someone med meditated in Singapore, no? then he found himself in the in the desert. And this is not hallucination, you know. This is not hallucination. And one of my students go back to Jupiter and see all the ring and come back, Saturn come back. You know? So so then you can say that mind, brain, and 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 and, and, uh, and body, brain, and, and mind. You know? and many people you know, they try to use the, the, the spine, uh, then they try to fit in, you know, fit in into the Dharma. That is very risky, you know. Body is body, mind is mind. Body, Buddha does not say body, brain, mind. Buddha say body, breathing, and Mind, breathing is some, you know, that's, a, that's a teaching of Buddha. Do, change the, do not change the teaching of Buddha, no. Then, mm -hmm. then, they, then they look at me wearing the, the kimono, no. And they call it, I'm Mahayanist, no. They go back, back. <laughs> I'm not Mahayanist, no. And this is a kimono, nothing to do with Mahayana, no. This is just a, this is a common dress for the, for the Chinese and Japanese, no. Just like you Indian wearing a kuta, no. Uh, not necessarily you have to be Indian, you have to be a guru, no. Uh, wearing the, uh, the, the kuta. That's why now, we have to be very careful, no. This, uh, some people, when they come to our forum, they don't have to reset mind, you know. They have to present my okay. So so like 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 I think I saw one comment, you know. Okay, he talk about Atma, he talk about soul. I, I do not think we talk anything about Atma and soul in the last they press the Atma best soul. What have you to do with our with our with our forum? No, we never talk about that. No, they come with a present mind and they started to press, started to, 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 to attack this thing. I think this is uncoming, no. I I'm coming. I I we, we do not encourage this phenomenon in the forum. 
Okay. Doctor, it's it's like this, you know, when uh, we already have an idea about something, we are not yeah. open for a new idea because we already carry that. Again, the same story that you remember you told me uh, about the cup, uh, you know, <laughs> when the uh, to be filled. Yeah. How if it's uh, full, how can I put anything in it? You need to empty that first and come. Yeah, when a cup of full water, you know, you cannot put in any more water. Okay, if someone comes to our forum, or is full of, full of something in his mind, you know, whatever we are talking or so, okay, he cannot call you now. So whatever we are not talking or so, then they say that we are talking, you know. That is the thing, that, that is very funny, you know. It's very funny. So we should not encourage this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, uh, attitude, you know. This is not yeah, a yeah, good yeah. attitude. Uh, Tato, uh, Raj, yeah, Rajesh has... Uh, just uh, uh, brought about the example of the cup. When the cup is full, uh, nothing can enter into it. And yeah, you, yeah. Have, you, have, you have talked about a wonderful practice, which yeah, can yeah. be able in our day-to-day -day life, in the business, everywhere. And that practice, yeah. you, know, you have given it a modern spin. Uh, yeah. You called it reset your mind. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think this is very important in our lives that, you know, we have to reset our minds all the time, daily. Or you know uh, whenever yeah. we need to be because uh, as you 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 as Rajesh and you have been talking about the decision making we cannot uh, make the decisions when our mind is full of garbage and you know we cannot see the things clearly so uh, this very beautiful concept of resetting your mind you know and you equated it with how we reset the the, the cell phone which when it struck so when we are struck in the businesses when we are struck in our relationship when we are struck in the in the life how you know how we reset our mind how we, we we create that beginner's mind how we create that that you know that original mind on the day to day basis you know the, i think you know if you can share that practice with the audience today of resetting your mind of emptying your mind and 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 and, and, and based on that emptiness of uh, you know that empty mind how how to be in the world because we yeah. we we you know i think this is uh, i think very important if you can share the practice with the audience as to how you really because running such a huge empire uh, dealing with people from different continents dealing with uh, more than 300 400 products your big factories coming up in telangana where you are investing for you are investing a lot then your factories are coming everywhere so you know this this so much of bazaar so much of market of ideas in your head so how how, how do you reset this and how do you focus on what is essential at that moment yeah yeah so uh, okay when we say about then you know or the practice of anapana. Okay, it is about to reset our our mind because uh, when we run a corporate, we run everything. There are so many things happening, you know, in a day. Okay, so the most important thing in the morning, you know, is to reset our empty our mind. Then we started to see the world. We started to see all the documentation and everything. So in, at night, you know, especially after eight o'clock, we just shut up. We just, <laughs> we just stop everything. You know, we okay, don't think of hey, mom, There is a practice. Okay, and this practice we call it anapana. Uh, mm -hmm. ana, ana. Okay, uh, this, this. so that we have a few important sutra, like the anapana sati sutra, okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sati patana uh, sutra. Mm -hmm. So one important sutra is maha uh, anapana smurti sutra. In this uh, maha anapana smurti sutra, Buddha said during the rain season. Now in India, the rain season is very favorable. So normally the Buddha will stay in one place for three months. Then the Buddha is practiced is uh, anapana for three months, 90 days. Okay, so because of this practice, you no, know, his heart are full of metta, full of love. Okay, so so he 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 protected his uh, love, you no, know, to all the living thing, you no. Know, whether it's a uh, is a uh, it can move, whether it can fly, all of this uh, this uh, the thing. Okay, now two things, you no. Know. I mean detachment reset can be practiced. Okay, in this uh, maha anapana, this uh, samuti uh, 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 sutra, he said that. Six practice, no, to to to, to reset our mind. The first practice is that you should uh, uh, count your breathing, counting your breathing, because counting the you see, we say mind and body, you know, you want to manage mind and body. There is something in between, you know. Okay, there's something in between from brain. It's the breathing. Okay, because from breathing, uh, from the breathing, you can observe the mind. From the breathing, you can observe the body. From the breathing, you can observe both the mind and body. They say you you count your breathing. Okay. Uh, you, when you count your, your, your breathing, this is a neutral, neutral action. You know? Our mind are full of rubbish. You know? Our mind are full of uh, 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 negative things. But your mind cannot think of two things at one time. You know? 
Okay, your mom, is a monoprocessor. Okay. So you 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 if you if you have something neutral, that's why the first practice is that we use a neutral thinking to replace the agitated thinking. And the neutral thinking is counting of breath. Okay, so we count the breath. In, out, in count the breath. Okay, then after that your mind becomes serene. How do you your mind serene? Then we stop counting. Okay, so we observe the breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. If your mind is serene, if your mind is reset, you know, you can observe it in and out very clearly, you know. Okay, after some time you forgot, you know, you forget, I mean, the mind no longer serene, you know. I mean, the all the, 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 the disturbance coming in, you know. What you do? I go back to the reverse counting. Okay, so from this the reverse counting, go 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 to the following of uh, of the this thing. and following a breathing, you know, this is satipanana. Okay, this beautiful, this is sutra, talking about how to observe the breathing. Okay, this uh, observing your breathing, you know, how to observe your body, how to observe the feeling, how to observe your mind, how to how to look at this uh, phenomena. Okay, so that so that this this too we call it the small samata vipassana. Okay, mm -hmm. the, the small practice. I mean between the between. so that when you practice this too, you know, your mind will automatically come down. Okay, you will risk your mind just by this too. Practice again. These are the small practice. Okay. After this practice, then you, you must go back to, to do your job, you know. To do a job, then you get a lot of money, you meet you are meeting with a very difficult boss, with a funny uh, this a customer, this all complain. You know? <laughs> Even we come for this uh our this uh, forum, some people so the record and all these things, okay, this thing. So what are you going to do? The easy, you know, the easy, you know, this, uh, this thing. So you have to look at it now. Uh, there's some other peace of mind, you know, there's third practice, some other. Okay, then after that, you, you see the world, see the phenomena clearly, you know, that's the Vipassana, that's the fourth level, okay. So that we, we go to the society, do you think, the world is not perfect, you know. Sometimes the thing doesn't work as well, what you do, returning. We go back uh, to the practice of uh, Vipassana, we do, to, to the practice of this uh, Zen, okay. Uh, then after that, your mind will be cleansed, the sixth level. So this uh, sixth level is, uh, is uh, clearly uh, 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 indicated, you know, uh, in this uh, Maha Anapana Smriti uh, uh, Sutra, okay. So that uh, uh, in our Sunya school, we always talk about this six practice, uh, Mangis. So mm -hmm. that from this practice, you no, know, you can reset your mind. Now many school, you no, know, they don't have this kind of practice. Mm -hmm. In order to reset the mind, you know, okay, then they go for music, they go for dancing, uh, then they 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 shaking, uh, then the eyes rolling up, you no. Know. Mm -hmm. Now when you roll your eye up, you know, your mind will still shut your mind, you know. Before a person painted their eyes over wrong. No? So, so uh, okay, if you keep on rolling your eyes up, huh, this is the thing. Of course, uh, temporarily you, 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 you may lose uh, uh, this uh, thing. No? But it's a practice very risky. You know? So they even put a sculpture, you know? put the first sculpture of the, the, some god of God no? <laughs> with the eyes rolling up. No? This is very funny, you know. This is not the right, uh, this is not the right practice for the for for the for for you to reset your mind. Okay, mm -hmm. how can you reset your mind by rolling up the eye? This uh, this thing is very risky, you know. If a person under the sun this thing, the raw eye practice that they may be painted, you know. <laughs> this is not reset. This one is uh, cut off, you no. Know. This uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, thing. And some people, okay, they say, okay, throw away everything. The, the, uh, don't worry about anything. The world has nothing to do with world, with you, you know. So they go to the forest, go to the Himalaya, go go to the like what the by what the data uh, what the Deva data asked the Buddha, you know. Let's go to the forest. Let's go to the Himalaya, you know. First we go and stay here. This uh, this thing. Then they become donkey, you know. Then become then become donkey. That's why in our Zen practice, okay, there are practices that can come to your mind, can reset your mind, you know. And this practice already taught clearly by Buddha, you know. Okay, this sort of thing. So better be that if you don't go to the teaching of Buddha, you know, then they revise something, they put something from the air, you know. Okay, they put something in the air and then they, they, they invent something, uh, this kind of thing, uh, so that they, 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 you are very careful, you know. You are very careful. So make sure that uh, after practicing Zen, uh, we still remain as a human being, you know. Okay, <laughs> do not change yourself, do not change your DNA. Yeah, it's very important. Mangesh, let me ask Doctor a last thing. Whenever Doctor uh, is saying now, uh, you know, when you're talking about shunya. So yeah. what I understand is, uh, when we talk about Zen also, it's a state of not no mind, means you cannot be mindless. That will be yeah. crazy. It is pure mind, more clear, more, more transparent mind. Is that so, doctor? Yeah, yeah. You, you see, you cannot destroy, uh, you see, my, my, yeah. when you go to this, uh, uh, what do you call Yogacara, okay, this uh, Yogacara teaching, okay, they, they are, they are, there are eight stages of the mind. Okay, the, the, the five the five senses, 
what's your brain, you know? Yeah, uh, six, uh, six senses, okay? Then you have this uh, uh, manas, okay? This are uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the mind, okay? All these things can be destroyed, you know? All these things can be destroyed. But there's something that cannot be destroyed because of the Buddha, uh, the Buddha consciousness, okay? But when, when we say Buddha consciousness, people will associate with the religion, you know? So we call it a uh, in consciousness. And this, and you see the sutra, okay? What is supreme consciousness, okay? It cannot be born, it cannot be destroyed. Okay, it cannot be increased, it cannot be decreased. Okay, uh, it's not dirty and it's not clean. It's, uh, you cannot describe it enough. Okay, so then when we detect everything, uh, when we detect everything, uh, remember, uh, we are not going for nihilism. Uh, we are not going for nihilism. So we always, uh, uh, we always say that the mind are like the goal mind. Okay, we want a goal. Okay, so that the pure consciousness is a pure goal. The problem is that our mind are full of rubbish. No, so many rubbish. How to take away the rubbish? Okay, the only way to take away the rubbish is by detachment. So the water, you, you stir the water, you know, the water will little bit. You now, how to make the water clear? Don't do anything, you know. Let it, let it stay there. Although sometimes, you know, you think of settle down, settle down. So, so when we do the exam and this, we don't do anything, you know. We observe ourselves at a third person, you know. So let the thing settle down, the thing settle down, settle down. Okay, then eventually. The Buddha consciousness or the spoons, the, 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 the stream consciousness will, will appear. Okay. So, if you can combine you know, a union at uh, the yoga, union your mind and your, your body, okay, then you become Arhan or Arhat. Okay, that is the ultimate aim huh, of uh, some of the this uh, uh, vipassana, this uh, or, or this uh, vipassana, this uh, practice. Okay, then of course, uh, then you can have a higher and uh, higher. Uh, 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 achievement on that. So that is the basic concept, uh, uh, Rajesh. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's clear. Mangesh? I think I think that's very amazing discussion we have had today. And uh, I would I would say that uh, we need to have more of uh, such discussions because uh, in these two uh, beautiful interactions with uh, Zen master Nagajiva, uh, who is also known in the business world as uh, Dr. Leem, Datuk Leem, he, the Datuk is uh, one of the highest uh, honors given to the Malaysian citizen for their achievements in, in, in various fields. Yeah. I, I, before we end, uh, I think uh, I, I want to quote uh, one uh, uh, Nan Hwai Ching. There's one very famous uh, Buddhist scholar. Okay. He said to sum out the teaching of Buddha. No? Okay. We as the lay people, three stages now. Okay. First, do your duty. Uh, the three things are very explainable. Okay. Secondly, you must establish your name, no? good name. Okay. Because when you establish good name, you will not do anything hanky panky, you know, uh, okay. because you want to protect your name. You know? Okay. So, first, do your duty. Establish a good name. That means you must be successful in your business, and everything. Then, century. I mean, after that, you can withdraw. Okay. For uh, 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 practice this thing. Uh. So, these are the three stages uh, for, 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 for the, what you call. These are three stages uh, for, for us to practice. Okay, and you look at the Indian culture. Okay, Indian culture there are three stages, no? Okay, when you're young, you must learn, you know. After learn, you must practice, no? You must, you must go do your duty, you know. Okay, then establish yourself. Okay, so when you come to the age of 60, uh, my age now, okay, then you should select everything, then you should go, you should go and meditation, you should, uh, you should uh, this, uh, 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 go back to, to the sunya. Okay, so now now I, I, I am also 60 already. Okay, so, so I think I come to the stage now. I keep on producing a lot of video. <laughs> okay, this kind of thing now. So, but uh, uh, we still do our duty. The duty, like the Buddha you now, he do his duty until the very end, you know, of, of his life you now. Even before the last, uh, before he, he could even, uh, he, he still give the last someone, you know, to, to, uh, to, to educate someone to come to him. Uh, they say he, he do it until the last moment, you know. Okay, so in our system, you know, uh, we don't talk about pension, you know. We, talk, we keep on carrying our duty, carry our duty until the day we say bye bye to 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 to, to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but my my connection was a little bit out of order, and uh, I I just wanted to uh, say that you know these two interactions have been very wonderful, and I I I know that there are a lot of people who are listening to it, and they are very much. Uh, inspired with uh, doctor, uh, doctor's life. As I was saying that he is the recipient of uh, the highest civilian award in Malaysia, recognized by the government for his invaluable contribution to the Malaysian <laughs> society. But not only yeah. Malaysia, Dr. Lim has got millions of people here in India as the members of his committee, as his company. And some people were asking about it. 
the name of the company is dxn it it, it deals it, it's a biotech company with a very unique marketing style and uh, now dxn is bringing up a very huge uh, company is, is, is spread over 50 acres of land near hyderabad in siddipet and uh, uh, dr leem as you were saying just now has a vision of how 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 to link up the the, the service to the society businesses and the zen practices so it's it's like a triangulation of three things the the the, the welfare the peace and the prosperity of the society the business world and at the same time the shunya teaching so he is triangulating this very three important concepts which are so essential for every human being to survive in this world and and for the better world so before we conclude uh, before i formally thank to uh, um, uh, uh, dr leem i would like to request him whether he has any uh, concluding remarks for the today's talk talk before we end up formally doctor yeah. so so mangesh i think uh, when coming to uh, uh, one sentence only to cover everything peace and prosperity okay we focus on the peace then eventually we do our duty uh, we get the uh, prosperity so i think we should promote this uh, uh, in india and throughout the whole world so that the world become peaceful the world become prosperous and beautiful yeah <laughs> So here, here was Dr. Lim today, who has uh, talked to us about how to uh, apply the Zen, uh, Zen Buddhist practices in the business world, and and we can derive from these practices lost lot of lessons for our individual yeah. lives, for social lives, for our business lives, and I think these are universally applicable tools that Dr. has shared with us, and uh, yeah. he is he is he is he's a regular speaker, and his talks are very popular. and i will share a link to his talks and i would request all the people who are listening today to kindly go through his talks and listen to him very carefully there are there are there is so much we can learn from his talks and uh, his his applied buddhism in the world it's not theoretical it's an applied buddhism in the world and uh, thank you thank you thank you so much dato for being with us for this two days uh, i i i can't end this uh, conversation without thanking my brother uh, rajesh enough for 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 making this uh, beautiful uh, uh, conversation possible rajesh has been uh, uh, following uh, dr leem for for a long time and uh, he has been as i was saying yesterday he is like the tongue of uh, 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 dr leem you know he, he when, the, when whenever he, uh, the, there are programs and lot of in the audiences doctor uh, doctor's uh, speech is converted into the communicable uh, indian language with indian flavor and he has this very very <laughs> yeah yeah we would say yeah and rajesh has this very special ability to communicate you know though he is uh, he is doctor by profession he brings this softness to whatever he does and at the same time he 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 fully commits to uh, what uh, dato and his vision of life and business and so on and so forth so rajesh brother i i thank you uh, so much for yeah. for for joining us uh, today and thank you dato thank you rajesh and i hopefully we will have a series of uh, lectures by dato on this topic of resetting the mind the six doors that dato talked in the end i think you know a lot of people will benefit from that so see you soon with dr leem and thank you so much for being with us today thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much